guys so me and OC are here back on the farm giving you all an update on everything that's been going on so stay tuned so what's up guys today we're at the farm actually we came to put a barrier around the pond because we're getting some ducks well we have some ducks already but different species so what we don't want and there's many reasons to that which we'll explain in further videos we don't want all the animals to be together so we're separating them as time goes by actually came to do a little project to finish up that fencing around the pond but as you can see terrible terrible weather rains falling breeze so just waiting to see what's gonna happen get in our job stay tuned Everybody's here guys. Just had a good show of rain. Old we'll day soap now. Even the pigeons are out. guys here we are as you can see this is the project site got a little weather the weather has stopped now but as you can see this is the area that we want to fence and I don't know if you can see that area over there that's where we'll be putting our housing for our ducks, malays, geese, different type of water birds, you know. So here's the project. We already done one side. So only this part we have left to cover. And you know this is gonna be a fun project so stay tuned.
What is guys? Check on the piglets. Of them looking off see. Until they are big enough where they can join the adults. Okay, it's getting big. Okay, didn't check on the bait field now, guys. It's a good sign. Yeah. Some walking up there in the field. Let's see. Uh, a good size flock just got up out of this tree. I think I saw about five or six of them. There's another one. There's one more in the tree there. Oh, wow, guys, look at that. They're definitely here. Wow. Oh, there. Oh, shit. There's one right here. I think we need to spread out some more rice, guys. Look at that. Birds are definitely here. This is a good look. Someone walking in the field out there. Look at them down there, guys. Wow. Oh. One right in the tree here. We got some rice left. Yo, guys, I saw at least 20 of them just get up out of the field down there a while ago. Partridge. Shit. Hope I caught that. As the birds are even on the road. 
a good sign. The rain just showed down like a storm and the birds are still here feeding guys. It's a very good look. Hear them? So, here again guys, actually leaving the farm. We have left the farm and heading out coming back early tomorrow to finish the project what we have started so what we want to do is try to be there by at least say seven o'clock in the morning so we can either beat the rain and even if there's rain then we can go ahead and wait on it and do some work but for sure looking to finish that project tomorrow tomorrow so stay tuned As we told you before, we have 95% completed our pond project. All we need to be 100% completed is just the gates, two gates. So for right now, what we'll be doing is to be deworming some of the goats, the pigs, stuff like that. And that's what we'll be doing today, me and Rai. Yeah. One time in the Sierra, I was going now, you good? Yeah, man, they are up on the farm, you know? You mean, man? Like, where you keep the place, man? Yeah, man. You mean? Animal, them nice. Yeah. Run back there, man, they run. Go on, sir. Go on. Go on. Okay. And I'm going to let him go back. Mm-hmm. All right, you run me in the pool with him. Yeah, man. You mean, you mean run off time? That's why I'm laughing up. Get you a full moon in the room there. Where are you looking? Yeah, you know what I think it look over a moon. Yeah, you ready? Alright guys, so actually what's happening? It's after the mango season. And it's actually after the mango season I have a lot of mango. It has aired at this time, so what we're actually doing is to give the goats um, some injection to help them prevent against any worm sickness, sickness that worm would give them, or anything that the mosquitoes would give them in terms of parasites and things like that. Put it down so we can get the skin. Front foot. Backside. Hold him, sir. Let him front foot. Yeah, I'll catch you in the go.
right and this is just simply like a DJ so wouldn't need to give an intramuscular or an intravenous injection just under the skin subcutaneous that what, that's what they would call a subcutaneous Get out. Come, girl. Normally guys, when we give them an injection, you know, we just rub it out, like that. Alright, so there's two other goats that we want to get in particular. Here I have one of them. And that should complete medicating the goats for today. So, we're not going to do all of them because a couple weeks ago, yeah. we did some and we don't want to over medicate the animals. So. Alright, guys, so as I said, here is the pond era, the project that we are doing. The fencing, as far as the fencing goes, we are on 100% finish where fencing is concerned for the pond but we're not 100% finished with the pond project reason being as you can see here we have a gate to put here and on the other side there's a next access gate to put in as I said before over this side you'll that's where we'll be housing the waterfalls so we have to build something over there for them and that should have completed our pond project.
Mickey. What's up, guys? What's up? Start feeding the deers now, guys. Some fresh grass we picked. Yo. Yeah. 